Hello, this is Chaos Blue, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy VII! Um, and a whole new year! Antifa's still dead. Um, I have not touched this since the last time, so I, I guess we'll, uh, fix that. Just to, uh, there we go. Um, did I, like, get anything last time? No, it doesn't really look like it. Uh, how about these, okay? Wow, you are just so far behind development there, Barrett. Um, okay. Tifa and Barrett are probably the choice picks to still be in my party right now. Um, right. So, last time, Aerith died. And it was sad and emotional, and we have sworn vengeance against Sephiroth for all time. Again. This time, uh, I guess we're doing that. Okie dokie then. Head north, past the snow fields. Okay, so I guess we'll head north, past the snow fields. Sounds like a plan, I suppose. Ah, uh, and here we are. Okay, no, I didn't actually want to go up here just yet. Um, I'm totally going to want to go up here. And now we jump all the way down again. I mean, it's kind of fun to watch, but it's not that fun. No, I want to go around, because then I can go up here. It's a halibut! It's a weapon for Sid. I don't remember if it's any good, but, well, I guess maybe we'll find out, and maybe we won't. It really depends when Sid is next put back into the party. Um, yeah. Okay. This looks promising. Hmm. You know, you would think they would at least heal you up after the last time, but nope, I guess not. Whatever. Oh hey, I have a limit break. Uh, nothing to steal. Blade. Don't use Blade Beam. Use, use Climb Hazard. And you guys, kill the other squirrel. Kill it! Yep, that's a dead squirrel, alright. Hmm. Oh, you know what? I really need to get kills with Barret. That's right. Shit. <laughs> I totally forgot. That's how, that is how that works, though. Ooh, neat. Okay. Well, I see the box right there. So... Aha! Uh, surely I want to go to the right. If I want to pick up that box. Uh, wait. Can I, uh... No? Really? Maybe I need to go down for it. And what the hell is this thing? Okay, then. Wait, what can I steal from this? I am quite curious. It is... nothing. I mean, it's something, but damned if I know what. Just, just let me steal from you, okay? You freaky freak of nature. I mean, a freak of nature which is freaky? I mean, one would probably... one would at least imply the other. You tentacly difficult to steal from monstrous beast, and seriously, it has like a shell and a snake and a crab bit, and I think a little bit of 
a little bit of like, it's not coral, uh, sea anemone or whatever it's called. Okay, yeah, that healed it. Quite a lot. Um, I think there's safe money on it having fairly high HP, so maybe... Wow, actually, I just noticed Tifa is dealing way more damage than Barret. What is up with that? Oh, well, Bear got the kill, but I didn't actually get a steal. Hmm. Okay, uh, let's try... No, let's try doing this? Hmm. I mean, it doesn't really matter, I'm gonna keep going up, because there's a box right there. The Bolt Armlet. Okay, and now the direction matters. What... what is that? Uh... Grimgar. Wait, that name sounds familiar. This thing... Why does that name sound familiar? I know it's not an enemy skill. It maybe it's a steal, but something tells me that it is not. I'm not really sure what that spinning does either. Oh, hey, I should probably heal Barret. Okay, shrivel. What is what is that? I don't think it's a weep on though. Hmm. Maybe I'm just getting the names confused. I mean, I'd believe it. It would not be the first time. Oh, and it's dead. Oh hey! That is some great time seriously, what is that? Um Okay, well first things first. No, Barret needs to change to Grenade Bomb. Okay, to give you an idea of how far behind this is for me, usually I would have this around the time I do the dying fight. <laughs> I have really been neglecting Barret in this playthrough. Now, what is that thing that I got? Mini one opponent. Well, okay, that's fairly useless. We'll go down first. It is... The Hypno Crown! Which is actually pretty useful. It's an accessory. I think it's an accessory. Uh, fortunately, I'm confident in the effect. <laughs> um... It is pro it is a probably accessory which um, increases the chance of manipulate to work. Not that I really need manipulate much anymore at this point of the game, but even so for those times where I do want to use it, it is super useful. Uh, okay, yeah, just do that. Wait, can I steal from the back guy? Because I'm- no, no, I cannot. Um, because I'm pretty sure the hedgehogs, of course he would do that clap. Well, actually, honestly, they're all about even- they all have about even need on the kill front. I mean, strictly- well, yeah, no, they all have about even need on the kill front. Barret probably need- well, Barret almost certainly needs more kills than Cloud, but- but excuse me. But since Cloud has a higher base amount, it probably about bounces out. Oh hey, cover leveled up. That's actually not necessarily a good thing. I mean, it is a good thing simply because I need more limit breaks on use on Barret anyway. But at the same time, he probably has like a 60% chance to cover now. Which, if I want to... Which will be slightly problematic for... No! No, I didn't want to go back up! It's doing it automatically. 
This this is actually really frustrating. Why? Why? Hi. Well, okay then. What was I saying? Something, something, limit breaks. Right. It is a little bit annoying because I do want to be using Tifa's limit break, and also I'm bad at at her limit break, uh, which is a little problematic. Uh, problematic. Because Tifa will not count as using her limit break unless I actually get off a, a uh, dolph well, a water cake, dolphin blow. Um, oh, this one isn't automatic, but down was? That is so stupid. Uh, yeah, so that's another reason I will probably be aiming for a hit instead of Booyah. Because I want to actually get counts counted as having used the limit break. At, at least at least until I have her uh, second level two. It is admittedly a smaller concern for um, for when I am on a kill limit break. Anyway, we are in a new area. We are in the icicle area. Let's save the game. Um, that one. Let's see. But yeah, we're like really out there. Uh, where the hell is the thing I want? It should be like right here, but I'm not seeing it. Ooh, it's a wolf. Bend or snatch. That is like a totally a uh I was gonna say Doctor Who, that's not correct. Um a Lewis Carroll name. Actually I think it's literally a Lewis Carroll name. I, like that sounds really familiar. All a game. Hmm. Well anyway. Seriously, like, the map says it's right here, but I really... Unless I need to walk around? You know, I probably need to walk around. It's not really a very reliable map. It, it must be said. Okay, that is a white rabbit. The name is unimaginative, but I'm now really convinced that... Like, is this actually just a Lewis Carroll area? Like, are we in Wonderland? <laughs> How did we get here? <laughs> Seriously. Uh, oh hey, Chocobo tracks. I could totally take those for a Chocobo, but I actually kind of need the, uh... Well, I mean, I don't need the experience so much as I want the, S the AP. I almost said SP. That is just like, I've been playing a lot of Blood Bowl, okay? <laughs> in any case, welcome to the Ice Skull Inn. See? Ice Skull Inn. Even though it's sort of, kind of a town? I mean, there's certainly more than an inn here. There can be little doubt in that. Uh, but yeah, there's stuff here that I want. Like a, well, no, that's Hero Drink. That one. That is the one. Um, yeah, I think that's actually the only item in this area on my list. I'm pretty sure. Like, 90%. Raises ability once per- Okay, that's not what I thought it was. I thought that the hero drink was the only thing other than Eris Limit Breaks that could bestow the invincible status. Um, now I'm not so sure. <laughs> I'm gonna look that up. Need to look that up sometime. I am pretty sure there's an item that can do it, but... At the same time, the possibility that I'm getting mixed up with FF8 is real. The Master is an experienced climber, you know? I he heard he knows every corner of the Great Glacier. 20 year- wow. Okay. Uh, 
This map, you mean? Cool. Nice map. So I'm gonna just... Oh yeah, we, we totally just stole that map. <laughs> but it will, de it will certainly come in useful for us later on. It's nearly impossible to reach the northern limits without a map. If you're thinking about going north, you better take that map on the wall. Okay. Ah, <laughs> uh, that's terrific. I'm so glad they put in that extra line. Because it, he, it sounds like he would have given it to us, but we took it. Then he offered it to us. That's just terrific. Okay, then. Okay, then. The inn is the one in the back, but I don't want to go there yet. Oh, hey. Nice snowman. I like that it has a pot for a hat. What is in here? My boy got hurt right about the time we moved here. I never should have looked. Gave him that snowboard. I guess he hurt himself snowboarding? That That is my takeaway from this. Uh. Hmm. Well, is this a shop? Oh, this is. This is totally a weekend shop. Awesome. <laughs> Smack! Okay. Uh, that looks pretty good. Uh, I only have enough money to buy two of these. That's a little bit problematic. Uh, don't need one for Sid, for sure. Don't need one for Casey, for sure. Uh, don't need one for Red, for sure. So that leaves Yuffie, Vincent, Cloud, Barrett, and Tifa. Um, I'm thinking Barrett, because his weapon is significantly weaker than Tifa and Cloud's. Uh, and I'm thinking Cloud, because Tifa's weapon is freakishly strong. Although the Dragon Claw is actually sli slightly cheaper, now that I'm looking. But in any case... Oh, you still have a double weapon, that would explain it. Well, I think I'm reaching, I've just about reached the point where I need to dump the double. So, we're gonna do that. And we're definitely gonna do this. You're also rocking the double weep one. Thus explaining why you your weapon is so much weaker. Uh, although actually, no, this is legitimately your strongest weapon. Well, no, the Rocket Punch is your strongest weapon, but screw that noise. Uh, no, not the... damn it. I just screwed up my freaking... Okay. Oh, she has the Power Burst as well. Yeah, that, that goes a long way to explaining it. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Here's what's gonna happen here. I am going to stop up here, because I want to sell a bunch of old stuff, uh, hopefully buy another weapon, and also change around my material setup. So, join me next time when we continue exploring the Ice Skull Inn. Until then, this has been Let's Play Final Fantasy VII with Chaos Blue, and have a great day. Bye!